What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel, After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning, so come by and say hello. All right guys, right on cue, perfect seven days after the last spike, we are seeing another spike, this time on July 10th, over 106,000 accounts were accessed. Again, that didn't translate to any battles, so this is clearly somebody or some people going into their bot farms, clearing everything out, probably the SPS that is unstaked, and my guess, dumping it on the market. So if you look at this now, and you and you go back to when we first started seeing this, right? So here's seven days earlier, here's seven days earlier, here's seven days earlier, and then, uh, what is this, the 12th, right? So if you, if you look over the past 30 days, this on the 12th to the 10th of, uh, sorry, the 12th of uh, June to the 10th of July, that is the four week period. If they went in and started unstaking here, right? This is unstake one, unstake two, unstake three, unstake four. Everything should be unstaked at that point in time. Now, that being said, there was a little bit of an adjustment made, um, at which makes me believe that we could see this a little bit longer because and now that, now that people are able to go in and, and, and unstake their SPS if they have less than a balance of one, I'm almost counting this on July 3rd as like the first <laughs> as like the first time, right? Because I think this that update was made sometime around here. So, if this is the first time, then really the 10th is just going to be or sorry, if the if the 3rd is going to be the unstake period, then the 10th is going to be the first time in which they can go in and sell. But my guess is that this would be all of the really small, tiny accounts, and hopefully we're not going to see as massive of a sell pressure on SPS because there won't be as much SPS. That being said, I have no idea. This is all speculation based on how things have played out, right? Because we had over 100,000 here, over 100,000 here, over 100,000, right? So like, look, look at this. It's 106, 107,000. 106,000, 106,000. This to me, just again, if I'm just using deductive reasoning, this is all the same bot farm going in on those days. Who is going in on these days? We're only 42,000 and then another 44,000. That could potentially be another bot farm, or maybe they just went in because a lot of they wanted to sell SPS before things went crazy, right? Or it went further down um, in terms of market price and value. But either way, we are getting towards the end of this because you know we're seeing at least on average less than 10,000 daily active accounts you're seeing the way that the battles are playing out there's not more battles being played there's definitely less battles being played and if you even check out on the on the 14 day here the 2 week i mean even the overall number of battles are going down um uh, let's see so if you look at this let's say 64,000 daily uh daily average for 14 days and if we look at the 7 day i guess 63,000 so it's not that bad um but either way i just want to share this with you because like clockwork it it happened i will be keeping an eye out for july 17th just to see what it is like on that day as well but you know considering where we're at I don't want to. I don't want to make a, a fool of myself and say, "Well, we can't go that much lower." It, it absolutely can, right? Um, and keep in mind, yes, are the bots selling? Absolutely. But there's a lot of other factors in here. Bitcoin is dipping. All of the alts are bleeding right now, right? So it's not just SPS that is struggling. Although I think SPS definitely doesn't have a lot of things going for it, including this bot farm. Uh, exodus and then on top of that we still have a ridiculously high inflation rate so all of that combined and uh I, I'm, I'm not trying to say that it can't go much lower but my whole point with this is that when the bot farm exodus is over uh, yes we should we should feel good about that right because the numbers and the data are saying that it, it should be done or at least will be done very soon but there's still a lot of other issues that we need to work through, right? Both externally with, uh, with you know, the, the market being down, as well as internally in terms of figuring out how to stop the bleed, how to stop the inflation of SPS, but then also the, the inflation of vouchers, the inflation of DEC, like all this stuff should be flowing back into SPS. And I know that we have some proposals right now in for vouchers, which hopefully will address some of this, but, you know, it's, it's going to take some time. And clearly, there's still a lot of card burning that's going on as well, keeping DEC here. Like, it you know, this chart is starting to look better, but that's only because the uh, the metrics are, or the, the range is, is uh, shortening down. If you look at this, over the past two months, we've burned a net of 11 or we'll just say 12 million DEC. 
that's nothing, right? We're supposed to be, well, supposed is a strong word, but we're used to burning roughly 1 million a day, which should be about 60 million over the course of two months. But with the amount of minting of DEC, primarily from cards, yes, I'm sure some of it is still leaderboards, some of it might be SPS, but with the minting of DEC from cards, and we, uh, you know, I put a video on that uh, a while ago, there's still a lot to go, right? There's still a lot of cards uh, to go. Um, that it, this is just something that we're going to have to eat through for a considerable period of time. My hope is that we start to see some more direct utility given to SPS, although I don't know that that's in the cards right now. Uh, but, you know, I have some ideas for it. I'll do that in a separate video. Just wanted to share with you where we're at right now in terms of the bot farm exodus. And hopefully that sell pressure will be done. Although there'll still be others, at least that sell pressure will be done. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. That is all I have for you guys in this video. Otherwise, I will catch you all in the next one and see you around the game. Take care.